When a sexual assault kit is tested, you get DNA information from an unknown assailant, it gets entered into the national DNA database. Once it's there, it's there. And we have, have it forever. For example, a woman who has been sexually assaulted. We don't know who did it. We get the sexual assault kit. We put the DNA in the database. Five years, six years down the road, the assailant gets picked up for another crime. Now, now you've got him. Doesn't matter how long that ago that sexual assault occurred, we can catch him in the future. Why? Because we already have his DNA in the system and we can make that match. But the key, the key is getting that DNA. And we can get it by testing sexual assault kits and developing an even more robust database than we have today. Up until now, but candidly, a lot of sexual assault kits simply have not been submitted for testing, and many sit today on evidence shelves across the state of Ohio. We need to change this. DNA testing is reliable. The science is more sophisticated than it was many years ago. Furthermore, the job of law enforcement has evolved as the science has evolved, has evolved. The thinking should be that even if you don't have an immediate direct match, that kit still has value. It has value not just for a crime committed today, but for all future crimes committed in Ohio or anywhere in this nation. Furthermore, it has become abundantly clear that there is significant inconsistency in jurisdictions across the state of Ohio in determining whether a kit is tested or whether a kit is not tested. Frankly, if you are a victim in one jurisdiction, your sexual assault kit might be tested. But that same kit, that same victim, if she lived in a different jurisdiction, might not be tested. That I find unacceptable. But frankly, I felt that it was important and necessary that we bring together experts from across the state of Ohio to try to come up with a uniform best practices policy for the testing of these kits. And the policy that you see before you today is a result of that work of this group. I'm very pleased to announce that today's meeting, the Sexual Assault Commission unanimously adopted a recommended sexual assault te kit testing policy that sets forth new statewide guidelines for future cases, as well as new state statewide guidelines for old cases. So the sexual assault kits have been sitting untested on shelves for months and sometimes for years. This new policy is straightforward and uncomplicated. It will bring greater consistency and accountability to Ohio sexual assault kit testing process. I strongly urge law enforcement to submit kits for testing if they believe a sexual assault likely occurred. I recommend that law enforcement agencies forward for processing any shelved or backlog kits not previously submitted. I anticipate that this policy will significantly increase the number of sexual assault kits that are submitted to BCI in the future. We estimate that only 50% of sexual assault kits are currently being submitted. Under this new policy, I would anticipate that 90% of these sexual assault cases would be submitted. We are committed to doing whatever it takes to process these in a timely fashion. I think that it's so important that we are going to commit whatever resources are necessary to get this job done. Now, let me talk about the old sexual assault kits that have not been tested and that are on the shelves here in the state of Ohio. I believe that these sexual assault kits have intrinsic value in solving crimes and protecting victims. And therefore, I have made a decision that we will hire at BCI four additional people, 
four additional people who will work exclusively on testing these old kits. Our hope is to test 1,500 outstanding cases the first year and 3,000 cases every year thereafter and do this without any delay to current DNA testing requests. This will be a separate unit with four individuals who will devote their time exclusively to this DNA backlog. This is something that I have cared about very deeply for many, many years. As I said, when I was a county prosecuting attorney, some of the most difficult cases, frankly, were, were the rape cases. And we took, I took a lot of pride in our ability to, to prosecute these cases. But we did not have, of course, the ability to retrieve the DNA and use the DNA uh, in those days. When I was in the Senate, United States Senate, I helped write federal legislation and secured funding to help test the backlog. These backlog kits are important and they need, they need to be entered into the system. Presuming a kit will be tested if a sexual assault likely occurred is good policy, good public policy that helps victims, protects citizens, and assists the entire law enforcement community. The presumption of testing ensures that sex offender DNA will be uploaded into state and federal law enforcement databases. And it may link previously unidentified offenders to unsolved crimes in other jurisdictions or even across state lines. We want to assure that victims of sexual assault and their cases will not, will not be forgotten. We are determined to bring these rapists to justice. More happy to respond to any questions.